Hi everyone and welcome to Club 4 episode 8 of Rolling in the Isles, an FM22 British Isles Journeyman series with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So we're reaching the end of our first season in charge at Connors Key Nomads in the top flight of Welsh football. We've got about four games in the league to go, plus a semi-final in the cup as well. So who knows, there might be another chance at a piece of silverware. We'll have to wait and see. But for today, it's a really, really big game. We play top of the table, the new Saints in the league. And we are trying to stop Cardiff Met Uni from taking away our European spot. They're four points behind us at the moment, but we still have to play them this season. If we lose points now, it could get very interesting in the last couple of games. Let's see how we get on. So our recent form has actually picked up a little bit. If we go and look in the schedule, you'll see that in the last couple of games, we uh, went through in the quarterfinals of the um, Welsh Cup competition against Airbus UK. We then played Bangor City, got a 3-3 draw against them. We were quite unlucky, I thought, in terms of not being able to claim three points against them and claw our way back towards them in the league. We've got a game in hand over them. They're currently 10 points clear in second place. I don't think we're going to catch up to them this season, if I'm totally honest. I think they and the new Saints are far superior just at the moment. But that provides the problem for today's match. We play the new Saints uh, and they're coming up as our semi-final opponents in the Welsh Cup as well. So that might be tricky to get to the final in that one. But the problem today is in the league, they're so far ahead and they're so good. We are completely big underdogs in this match, but we need to get the points because Cardiff Met Uni, who are hot on our heels in the league, trying to take away that European spot, we still have to play them. If we have to go for a, uh, a shootout against them in a one-off game, last time out, they beat us quite comfortably 3-1. They also beat us earlier on in the season 5-2. And the other game earlier in the season, we beat them 3-2. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but not really in our favour. So we need to get something from today's match. I'd kind of take a draw at this point if I could, just to give us that little bit of a cushion in terms of our points over uh, Cardiff Met Uni. And then it's just about uh, Carnarthen and Haverford West and that game against Cardiff Met Uni to see if we can correct, uh, collect the points that we need to ultimately stay in our third position spot in the league. Sitting third, um, it's the last of the European spots. Can we do that? We'll have to find out, won't we? So the only player not available to us in today's match is Chris Amos. He's one of my rotating central defenders who comes in and supports the first team whenever necessary. So it's not too bad. He's out of action for today. He's on international duty. But both of my starting central defenders are both available and fit and healthy. And we've got another one on the bench as well. So that should be okay. But other than that, we are uh, doing pretty well fitness-wise. We're rotating when we can, keeping everybody involved as much as is possible and keeping everybody as healthy as possible. With a few games left of the season, we should be okay. So we go in with our normal starting lineup, and that is parking goal, Barrett at right back, Roberts at left back, Williams and Boddenham in central defence, Berry and Pinchard in central midfield, Reese on the right, Bowers on the left, and Lloyd and Johnson up top, with a bench of Evans, Ward, Cullimore, Johnson, Mitchell, Whiteside, and Candy. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. <laughs> So in terms of team talk, I've been a little bit subdued in the uh, actual gesture that I've used. It's not particularly in their face. But the other thing that I would say is we've gone and we've got nothing to lose. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. I don't actually believe that we've got nothing to lose in terms of the big picture of the league and what that might mean for us. But what I would suggest in this one-off game against the likes of New Saints, I think that is true. I think that's accurate. We, we are not expected to do a thing here. They're expected to dominate the game and take the points. So we can play with a little bit of freedom, I hope, to try and express ourselves. And we'll see whether the players are capable of that. We've seen over the last uh, few weeks of the season that on their day, they're very capable. On another day, they're dreadful <laughs> in a lot of ways. So we'll just have to see what comes today. But 
the new Saints are running away with the league for a, a reason. And that's because they're very good. And of course, they are at home as well in this particular match. So that helps them. So we've, we've got everything against us a little bit on this particular match. But in terms of the recent form in the league, they are topping the table in form guide. But we are second. So hopefully we can give them a better game than maybe we have more, most recently in our most recent uh, uh, games against them and we've started very well 10 minutes in excuse my uh, stuttering a little bit there I was just watching the highlight as I was chatting away and we got through quite comfortably really and then I was a bit concerned about whether we'd actually finish it off and there we go it was Johnson using his strength a little bit to turn the defender as the as the defender jumps for the ball and misses it Turner uh, jinx in behind him gets one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and puts it in the back of the net and 11 minutes into the game, we take a 1-0 lead, which is fantastic. I mean, in theory, there's probably lots of ways in which we now should be like jumping on that lead and, and sort of keeping ourselves all over the top of them and, and shutting up shop and doing all sorts of things. But at the moment, it feels like too early for that. If we invite the pressure from TNS too much... They will break us down eventually. But, I mean, look at the statistics so far. They've had one shot at goal, none on target. We've had eight shots at goal already. Only the two on target. But the pressure is telling, which is really interesting. 50-50 uh, possession as well. So we are definitely in the game, which is good. Can we find a way to keep this momentum through to half time? If we can go in without having conceded a goal at half time, I'll be very happy. And we should have potentially got a second goal there. A really good ball in from Reese on the far side. And Johnson had beat his marker, got in front of the defender and then uh, unfortunately swept the ball very narrowly wide of the post. And it goes out harmlessly for a goal kick on that occasion. But another really good opportunity. And still, the New Saints have no shots on target. They've only had two shots in total, now three. We've had 13 a 1.26 XG rating for us so far is very good. We do reach half time 1 0 up. Now, the problem we've got here, as is always the case, is that their manager is going to want to do something about that at half time. So, how do we combat that? How do we keep this team focused enough to do their job and not take the foot off the pedal at all? So, we're going to go and point the finger. I think rather than be positive, we're going to actually be a little bit confrontational with them. Um, mm -mm, here we go. Let's go with you. Might be winning, but that could all still change if the performance levels drop. Don't let that happen. Hopefully that will motivate them to continue forward. We'll go straight in and we'll demand more from them as well at the beginning of the second half from the shouts on the sideline. And just see if those two in combination can keep us focused and keep us moving forward and try as hard as we can to keep this clean sheet. If we can manage it, it will be pretty spectacular, to be honest. To win this sort of game at this point in the season would be pretty special. Now, we have beaten the New Saints uh, in the league fairly recently, but we also lost our uh, recent cup final, the secondary cup competition in Wales, to them recently as well. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Here we again, though, down the right-hand side with Berry. Drops it back and we almost lose the ball, but regain it. A good cross in again. They do get it cleared, but our defence are going to sweep that up. Pinchard is giving it in midfield. Good ball through again, and it's Johnson again. And we broke the lines brilliantly well. Lots of balls in round the corner of the line that we were playing on at the time. Just uh, spreading the play a little bit. But there's a good ball in for Pinchard. He'll get it in here to Lloyd. And that's a great first time ball around the corner for Johnson. Who gets in again ahead of his marker. Takes it slightly wider of the goalkeeper. And puts it in the bottom corner. And at 70 minutes on the clock we're 2-0 up. We're going to make a couple of changes. Um, we're just going to try and secure this up a little bit now. We've got a couple of yellow cards. I don't want to lose players. That would be awful, wouldn't it, to go down to 10 men at this point. So we're going to take both of those out. Uh, so we'll bring Johnson in for uh, Berry. And we'll take Bowers out and put Whiteside in. And that's purely about trying to make sure we keep 11 players on the pitch. And then we've got a well-performing but a slightly low-conditioned left-sided uh, defender. So we could take them out. 
everybody else is playing reasonably well. So I think we will. I think we'll just try and keep the freshness in the team as much as possible. Joel Ward can go in there and play both sides of in the fullback role so he can cover that position for us, which is why we put him on the bench because he's a very good utility player. And we've now got 15 minutes. The, the last five minutes have gone very quickly. 15 minutes to play. 2-0 uh, advantage. But we've got to keep our wits about us. And a chance. And we put it over the top. J uh, Lewis Lloyd jinks it. Uh, dinks it, should I say, over the top of the encroaching goalkeeper. But gets the angles wrong. And it hits the top of the, front of the netting of the goal rather than the inside of the goal, unfortunately. But again, we were pushing 23 shots at goal. 10 on target. And they've had... A couple of shots, but nothing on target themselves. I think that's slightly mad, if I'm totally honest, against a team that are obviously dominating this division completely to stop them from having any shots on target so far at 86 minutes is pretty spectacular. And we could have got another one there off that highlight again. Lloyd, it's that second striker. We've got to improve that second striker for next season. Johnson is brilliant. And we need somebody that's going to take the, the slack off him every so often when he's not performing brilliantly. Now, Lloyd played well and set up a goal, but had two really good opportunities and didn't put it in the back of the net again. But that's all by and by, uh, by the wayside today, really, because we did just what we set out to do. We played brilliantly well against the league leaders in the New Saints. Got a 2-0 win. But the statistics were mad, really. 25 shots at goal, 10 on target. For them, 8 and 0. We had a 2.3 XG rating to their 0 0.6. Our pass completion was decent. We had slightly more possession. And I think everybody pretty much played to their full capacity. And that is an incredibly valuable three points. So before we figure out what we're going to do next episode specifically, it's worth figuring out the current situation. So Bangor City currently are seven points clear of us in second position in the league. Um, we've both played 29 matches. I think with three games to go, that's going to be too much for us to uh, turn around. I don't think they're going to lose that many games and points in the last three matches. So I'd kind of say that at this point, that's done. And that's fair enough. We're trying to hold on to this third position spot and the last of the European spots. And Cardiff Met Uni are the issue. Now, the current situation is they, they are yet to play their 29th game this uh, game week. So we'll see what happens with that one. But currently, they are seven points behind us. Now, if they win that game in hand, then obviously they'll go four points behind us. And that still gives us a bit of a cushion considering that we have to play them. If they beat us in that game, they'd go one point behind, of course. So really, all we need to do is win maybe one game, maybe, in the last three. And I think we might potentially hold on to that third place spot. But we're going to go all out for all three, obviously. So what have we got coming up? First of uh, Well, first of all, uh, first of off, first of all, we've got the New Saints in our cup semi-final. Now, what we've just done to them might make them slightly cross, possibly. We might get a bit of a backlash on that one. We'll have to wait and see. But it's going to be an interesting game nonetheless. Then we play uh, Kenarthen, uh, then Cardiff Met Uni, and then Haverford West. So I'm planning to come back next episode for the Haverford West game and play the last game of the season to see the season out and see where we're up where we're at at that point. But it might change depending on the next couple of results for Cardiff Met and what we do against Ken uh, If it's all to play for in the Cardiff Met Uni game, we'll probably come back and play that one. And then I'll update you on the last game if it's necessary, etc. The other thing to say, of course, is if we have a cup final to play, that might play a part in the next episode possibly as well. So we'll have to see. So it's a little bit up in the air, but at some point in these next next three or four matches five if we get to the cup final we'll come back play a match or two and just absolutely play out the rest of this season and see where we end up hopefully hopefully we keep our spot 
and we get champ uh, not Champions League, we get European football for next season because that's vital to the finances of the club and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how we get on. But for today, we absolutely did our job 100%. It was magnificent performance against a very good side and I will happily take it. But that's going to do it for today. Really great result. Good episode. I'm happy with where we sit. If we can secure this third place, then all will be right with the world for me at this point. Uh, but that's going to do it. So thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community, the more the merrier. Click that like button on this particular episode. That will help me get seen by more people. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.